only in uh, West Africa, but uh, throughout the world. U.S. So President Barack very Obama very said Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari's Oval Office visit <coughs> is historic yeah, 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 yeah. because it comes so uh, soon after a peaceful transition of government in Nigeria. In, uh, recently, we saw an election uh, in which uh, a peaceful transition to a new government took place, uh, and it was an affirmation of uh, Nigeria's commitment to democracy. Obama said he believes Buhari is a capable leader. Uh, and has a very clear agenda in uh, defeating uh, Boko Haram and extremism uh, of all sorts inside of his country. Uh, and he has a very clear agenda uh, with respect to rooting out the corruption uh, that too often has held back uh, the economic growth and prosperity uh, of his country. Buhari credits the U.S. and Europe for helping make the Nigerian election free and credible. The maintenance of pressure by the United States, mainly, and, and Europe, to make sure that the elections were free, fair, and credible, uh, led us to where we are now. Buhari is seeking Obama's help in the fight against Boko Haram and against endemic corruption in Nigeria. To that end, he wants U.S. assistance in recovering $150 billion in Nigerian funds stolen over the past decade under previous governments. Heather Lowe is with Global Financial Integrity, an independent Washington-based organization that tracks governments and corruption trends around the world. She says recovering the stolen funds is a tall order. It's actually very, very difficult. I think that there's a lot of attention being paid to it today, and so uh, hopefully things will improve, but it's a very, very slow process. In order to get information about funds that have been moved into another country, you often have to have a mutual legal assistance treaty with that country, and then you have to do formal requests under that treaty. Those can really take years, as you know we found with, with the Abacha case. Later in the day, Buhari reached out to the U.S. business community. At a U.S. Chamber of Commerce dinner in his office, he told members that Nigeria is a prime candidate for American investors, despite the recent drop in oil revenue due to the glut in the world petroleum market. There is more to Nigeria than oil. This is why I will continue to stress the need for increased United States investment in our non-oil sectors. Scott Eisner is with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. He says American business is receptive to Buhari's message. The true future of American investment isn't the pivot toward Asia, it's really the pivot towards Africa. And at this point in time, I think the American business community is waking up to the force that is the continent, and in particular, the importance of Nigeria. The U.S. has committed $5 million towards helping Nigeria and its neighbors take on Boko Haram. It's yet to be seen how much help the U.S. can give Nigeria in recovering billions of dollars in stolen government money. In Washington, Ebong Udama, Gotel, Africa.